What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host with the most Tomboy Diplo and coaching Tomboy TV. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We got a very, very special video today. It's my top 10 sneaker purchases of 2018. And I'm honestly extremely, extremely excited for this one. As you can see by the intro, it, I got really confused as what the hell I was doing. I lost because all these, you can see Hello Jordan 1s because 2018 was the year of Jordan 1s. And I got confused as to each which one was because the writing for the colorways is so goddamn small. But as you can see, I'm going to try to shift this over a bit. These are the top 10 sneakers of 2018 from my collection that I have purchased for all retail. These are all retail sneakers. I did not pay resale. If you guys do know me, if you've been watching my videos for a minute, I normally don't ever, I haven't ever actually, unless it's like some crazy seals, I don't pay resale on any. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Oh, for flex tape. The items. These are all for retail that I either got via raffles, and I'll talk about how I got each sneaker as well. Raffles, first come, first serve. And I just got extremely lucky. And these are, most of them are from the first half of 2018 for the hyped ones at least, for the hype sneakers because that's when all my luck was going strong. And then I don't know why, Karma got me, I guess, I don't know. But I just started going down with sneakers. Supreme went up, sneakers went down with my luck. But we still got some crazy ass sneakers. So I'm actually extremely hyped for this. I'm excited. Unfortunately, I did end up realizing that these are all out of order and they're going to become really hard to get through. Anyways, here we go. This is number 10 of my my collection that I would say here you can see number 10. That tag is covered up. So what we got is you can see a Jordan 1 box. And there are a lot of Jordan 1s in here. A, they're my favorite sneaker. And unfortunately enough, they did release a lot of them. They're becoming type oversaturated. Everybody in the audience, now listen to me carefully, is being given a special package. And I don't want you to open it. This is Open your boxes. One, two, three. But you know, it's whatever. We're going to still keep it pushing. We're still going to cop all of them as many as we can. Well, number 10 on my list is the Jordan 1 Pine Greens. Now, these are actually at number 10. Originally, the Rookie of the Years took their spot instead. And then I realized I got rid of the Rookie Years. And honestly, the leather on these is better than the Rookie of the Years. Rookie of the Years, the, the, the leather, the toe box lease on them, looks like it's painted over. It's not really that well done at all. But anyways, these are the Pine Greens. I actually end up copping this via Foot Locker Reservations. Uh, the leather on these is absolutely beautiful. They release with the core purples as well uh, just looking at this it's a beautiful shoe the leather is absolutely amazing the only other time they released a green jordan one was at the pack the celtic pack or some yeah. pack, if i'm not mistaken it was a minute ago anyways but the honestly like a pure green nice ass colorway has not released i'm surprised they're not going for more money they're basically bricking at retail i did try them out one time just for the flick because you know your boy always be taking flicks which i also showed in my intro on my instagram at thomas and make sure you check that out make me feel better because i'm a bit sick today and i'd appreciate it so goddamn much so these retail for 160 dollars that's how much i paid i don't pay tax in jersey so you know we lit out here it features that green tongue as well the green little tab on the tongue and then that toe box that leather all over beautiful tumble leather it's just so goddamn it's still got that fresh smell though don't worry if you're trying to cop these of course hit me up at tommy's taylor that's why i'm selling all of my sneakers all of my hype stuff because you know your boy gotta start getting rid of them because you know your boy's going to college as well so i appreciate it so much you guys check that out we're at 150 followers which is pretty nice I'm, I'm grateful for all of you who've been following. If not, make sure you check it out. I will be posting a bunch of stuff. And yes, we do not go by StockX. So anyways, rounding up to number nine, I think we got this sneaker. Yes, right up here. We got another Jordan 1 at the spot. So here we go. This is Jordan 1 sneaker. We got that. We got that beautiful white paper that I wish I did a little bit more with for this sneaker at least. Because this is the Spider-Man Jordan 1. Now you can see I did not lace these up. These are actually, are they even my size? Let's see. Actually, they are an 11. I wear an 11 and a half Jordan 1, so not exactly my size. Let's see. I got these exactly from Kicks. Yeah, I got them from Kicks USA. I had to camp out for these. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Kicks USA. Linden. <clears throat> plug away, you know what I'm saying? I'm grateful for these. I actually stood outside the line. I actually camped out for a minute for these. I did. I camped out at 6 in the morning, and I was just waiting. In, no, it was even earlier than 6, and they were just cutting bullshit. If you guys have seen my in-store videos for the sneakers, for these especially, you know, they were bad. But the worst ones were literally for the core purples. That was the worst release. Because, uh, you know, I live in Jersey, so they still do be doing some first, first come, first serve events, which I'm lucky enough because I do be going to New York a lot. And, of course, they do not be doing first come, first serve an anymore because of what all these bozos be doing out here. So this is the Spider-Man Jordan 1. You can see a little detailing. I actually had a review film for this. Then I ended up pushing out more content, and then I wasn't able to put out the video. So unfortunately, that video ended up getting deleted. Actually, I still have it, but you know, it's kind of late now. No one's really going to be interested in it because so many people have done reviews on this sneaker. But you can see the little, it's in the, it's like 3M kind of, and you flash it. The, the dots right here pop up brightly with the camera. 
it's like the bright color way, you know, if they, only, like, I would rock these, honestly, I would, but just, I don't know, like, if I would, like, the ice is a beautiful part, too, just the dot just throwing me off a bit, and the leather is very nice as well, very soft baby leather, like, this is the soft, soft leather, though, the greens, pine greens had soft leather, but this is baby, baby soft, these are, once again, retail for $160, I'm gonna go ahead and put those down as well, and then we'll take some b-roll footage at the end, but now we're on to number eight, Number eight is right down here. Now this is, as you can see, finally not a Jordan 1 box. You got that Nike beautiful, beautiful freaking box. Now guess, guess my top 10, bro. Guess this, guess this sneaker. Cause it'll probably be surprising to you. We got the Presto acronym MIDS, AKA the biggest unexpected bricks of 2018. Because why? I have no idea. I really thought these were gonna be worth a good amount of bread. However, unfortunately, after it ended up happening, it's not. And you can see they got the stock laces. I literally tried these on, and I'm like, these are so comfortable. But I honestly don't see myself rocking them because of the way that they're laced up, the way that I love this. I love this design right here that they got this little zipper shit going down. You could just slide your foot right in. You, you're trying to bolt out like Takashi 69. Boom, you zip this shit up and you're bouncing out of the house. Uh, the design is nice. I love where they're coming from. You know, Presto acronym. They always be collaborating and doing a uh, mid uh, with a sock liner. Beautiful, comfortable ass shoe. We got little leather accents right up here. If you guys can see right by the zipper, little leather material. And this is a size 11 and uh, uh, just 11 actually, not even 11 and a half. I got these via Nike sneakers, one of my only very small amount of W's, I guess you can call it. I I guess it's somewhat of a W, even though they're not worth much. One of my only W's of this week. And I also won the Volt and White ones via a raffle, an online raffle, which was first come, first serve. It just, it was confusing as how to get it. But I got it, and they're sitting at Stadium Goods, because, you know, your boy needs to get rid of these. Uh, so hit me up. Of course, you guys know where to get me. And we've got the gray bottoms right here. But other than that, they're a very comfortable shoe. I just, you know, I'm a reseller first, to be honest. That's what I'll be going for at first. And they're basically bricks. So next, we'll move on to number seven. If I can find it right up here, hopefully this shit does not fall you guys can probably already tell what is at number three unfortunately but you know we're gonna keep it pushing but like yo it's not number one no nah, they are not number one so anyways we have number seven right up here jordan one box let's get into it baby oh i should not be throwing this so far you know what i'm saying let's see what are these oh yes these match the pine greens they released the same exact day and these are the court yes the court purples uh these i also this as i said before i got these via first come first serve event at kicks usa uh, I'm blessed Kicks USA be doing first come first serve in New Jersey because if not your boy would not have touched the court purples and actually I do have another pair I'll get right away as you can see your boy did have to double up we got two different pairs of court purples actually the same exact size these are 11 and a half these are actually worn once I bought them worn once from a consignment store around the area 175 on those not a bad price at all but they don't come in box which is the only issue anyway so I did lace these up I tried them on once you can see it is practically dead stock but you know it is worn once that's why I'm gonna advertise it don't worry I know all of you be shitting bricks over there this is a size 11 so you know not exactly my size and honestly purple is a dope ass curl it matches like this I guess you could say I think it matches nice with this little black toe area however this does not match with a lot of items that i do have in my closet so i did not decide to personal these i'm holding on to these as well as the other pair because these are going to go up in price like crazy and of course these retail for 160 dollars and luckily once again your boy paid no tax I'm honestly geeked on these. These are a very hot colorway and they're gonna keep going up. They're kind of like bread toes, especially the Spider-Mans. I forgot to mention the Spider-Mans are going up like crazy as well, especially baby sizes, which you know, your boy still got a uh, size six, uh, which I actually put up on my Instagram for mad cheap. I threw out a kind of like a steal compared to now and nobody slid up on them. So now they're going up for more. So uh, you guys slept. So make sure you check out my Instagram, of course, before I keep on freaking talking about it. These are the core purple size 11. So next move on to number six. Let me find it on this list. Ah, yes. You guys can probably tell what this is right over here. By the box itself, this was the year of the off-whites. This is my... Actually, I got two pairs of these. Yeah, baby. Let's see. We got the final, the only last shock drop that Nike has done. Your boy cooked up. Not one, but two pairs. And it's we do got that extra orange off-white lace right over here. I have still not de on dead stock these. You know, they're still dead stock. But uh, these retail for, I think, $160. Let's see on the tag. Yeah, $160. These Prestos are absolutely amazing. They're going for quite a bit of money right now. Let me see what size. These are a size 11. And these are a size... 
12. You know, your boy cooked up two pairs. Because what happened, the way I got these was via shock drop. I remember that morning, I was in bed, it was in the summer, I was feeling mad groggy. All of a sudden, I see a shock drop monitor, shout out to my Discord group. With them, I was able to see that there instantly. They were sitting on the, dude, I was on that first, I was definitely one of the first people on that. I was in bed, I saw a notification, I clicked on it rapidly. I hit my size 11. I was like, I called up my other person who runs my other account, aka my pops. He was like, alright, bet, and he hit it on him as well, so he got a size 12. And yes, I'm still keeping on to them. I wore the size 11s once, and the size 12s are still dead stock as you can see i still got that red tag on the bent one crooked af at your hype connect would say this is not dead stock but you know get out of my face boy so anyways we do have the off-white air presto black they also did a white one which i took an l on via a draw and actually this box is absolutely destroyed but that's how i got it and these retail for 160 they're going for an 800 now i'm still going to hold on to them because off-white is coming out with their last nike the 10 part of the 10 pack which is the air max 90s and after that that's about it they're going to do more collaborations for sure like they got off-white af1s coming out the all blue baby one baby blue ones which i need asap and they're also you know they're gonna be matching the blue box so go that drop but anyways so basically they're not doing any more tens they're doing more like separate collabs like separate af1s and all that shit so anyways this is number six for me i think yeah this is number six uh they are off whites you know this isn't about hype at all this is like what i rank on mine and Kind of what most hyped, it's up there, like most hype sneakers are of course up there. Next up, move on to number five, and I think these are it right up here. Yes, these ended up beating the goddamn Alphoid Prestos. The Alphoid Prestos are sick, but they're very, like, not that original. And in place, we got the Supreme CDG AF1s. I did also get these for retail, but unfortunately, I did have to pay tax. I think I took, I think I tried for these and took an L online. Yeah, I did. I got, like, carjacked. I don't even know what happened. Mike, make sure you check out my live cops if you haven't. This is a CDG AF1. This retail was $165. Uh, $5 more than the Presto, so not worth nearly as much. But I gotta say, the quality on these is absolutely amazing. If you guys don't know, they got that beautiful baby leather, and you got that Supreme on the back, which I've seen a lot of factory flaws on the branding for the Supreme part right over here. And then you got that Nike Air as well as on the tab, and then you go to the side, there is that split swoosh right here, then the split swoosh right there. That actually matches the box logo that I have right over here. So you know, your boy had to cop both. I actually ended up not paying retail for this, one of the only few items that I learned my mistake from for paying resale, because now that shit is going down like crazy. But these are going up, and of course your boy cop for retail, and I had to pay that tax, that 8% tax, we made it a little bit more expensive. I remember I had time slot, I think 250, no, 12.45 was my time stop for this one at Brooklyn. Remember, because it wasn't that long ago. And one of my favorite little minor details that a lot of people probably don't notice. If you guys look, hopefully it focuses well enough. There's a little, you can see the AF1 on the tin part right up here on the shoelace. And then there's Supreme written very, very, very minorly as well. And of course, that air is outlined in black, which makes that shit even pop even better. So these are 165. These are number five on my top 10 list of 2018. Oh, those fell. Those took a tragic break. But now we move on to number four. Now these, as you can see, is a Jordan 4 box. Only the one of the only retro Jordans actually on this besides the ones. Uh, you can see that flight box right up here. Let's see, let's see. Of course, one, my one bad comment about this one is the wrapping paper is absolutely garbage for how much of a crazy shoe this is. And we got the Travis Scott's Jordan Force. Now, these, I, this is the only Travis Scott I have. I did not cop any of the Air Force Ones. Unfortunately, these are the Cactus Jacks that are absolutely fire. And these are actually a crazy story on how I cop these. So how I got them was basically me and my boy at Your Hype Connect on Instagram. Make sure you check them out. Uh, we were pretty much going around New York. We were just chilling. Then we were like, yo, let's pop into Nike Tournament Mercer. And we're like, all right, yeah, let's go. All of a sudden, I see these on the goddamn shelf. I'm like, yeah, holy shit. These quality is absolute garbage. I never even wore these one time in my life. Anyways, as I was saying, we walk in. I see these on the shelf. I'm like, holy shit. I run over. And then the kid, there's a kid there. Literally, he wears a size like eight, I would say. Size eight. He's like, no, nah, I'm buying them. And then he goes, oh, wait. Never mind, as he was processing the checkout, I'm assuming he went broke or some shit, but he goes, never mind, you can have them. I literally, sh and then, uh, as we were, no, actually before that, we were talking to the uh, Nike worker, we are like, yo, we're, I'm an 11, I'm an 11 half, I'm 11 half, I'm a true size, and like, it doesn't matter, he came here first, and then uh, I was like, damn. I saw this on the shelf. I didn't really talk to her. Your eye connect. Talk to the lady. I'm gonna give him credit for that. But you know, I came out with the W on these. The speckled blue dots right up here. The flight on the front. Absolutely heater shoe. The quality is actually pretty garbage on these. And what I think they were at Nike. I think they were a return, which was the main thing because she said, I asked her like, how how are you guys still have these? Like how are they sitting? And she said, we only have one size. And it was a return. Some guy walked in and gave a return. 
I'm like, wow. But did he return some fake merchandise? I really don't think so. She checked it out. She said it's 100% legit. And he had a receipt from the actual store. So, you know, and the same size match and everything. So, we do got both of that. Of course, we got the Cactus Jack tags right up here. Just hella wrinkly. They've been in storage. They've been sitting in a box for OD long. Uh, I've not taken them out. Actually, I think they've been sitting on shelves over here. I'm definitely going to put these up on display, though, because the collar just pops on these like crazy. But you definitely have to be rocking a nice-ass fit to rock with these. And, of course, I cannot... I cannot wait till they come out with the purple ones. Currently, right now, they're friends and family. I hope they're not in the end, in the long run. I hope they're not at all. But here's the sole on these as well. These were retailing. I think I paid two forty or something with tax. The tax becoming crazy in New York, which is a big disappointment. But yo, I'm still grateful I caught these. These were eleven and a half. These were oh two twenty five retail plus tax. Did make them a bit more expensive. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to the last three sneakers. And oh, here we go. Here's number three right up here. It's not that hard to tell what it is from the box if you do recognize it. Ready? Ready? Oh, that paper, bro. More air. This box is minty, too. This has, like, no cracks. It still opens up like it's brand new. We got that Nike paper. Yes. These are the Sean Watherspoons, bro. Shout out round two. They do come with two extra laces, by the way, with these. And I, they don't come with any extra patches. This is not the Friends and Family one. This is not the one by Kith. I somehow miraculously won these via raffle at sneakers and stuff nyc for an in-store pickup i was shitting myself what happened how i found out i won about these me and my homie were on the train coming back from new york actually going to new york for supreme on a thursday and i was i was really going to vacation on saturday too and i was like yeah man i took the l on them i don't know how i'm copping the shans because i took a big ass l and then all of a sudden i'm going through my junk email i'm showing my boy like i didn't get no email and then I go through junk, and boom, my W email is sitting in the junk folder of my... And I just start shitting my brains out on the train. Because these were a necessity for me. I am going to say they are a bit overrated. Everyone's putting these at number one. These are definitely a crazy-ass fire shoe. I don't know if they're top of 2018. He came out with some crazy designs. This is actually... I did wear these lightly. Of course, I had to put them on feet, walk around in them one time. Of the air bubble with the red. Sean killed these. I'm going to say he started a whole new thing. And I did get these patches for these shoes as well at the Nike outlet. So if you do have a chance to cop these, definitely do. If you can get them for a steal price. They're going for a bit more money. But you know, some uh -oh, little um advice. Uh, they are. Check out your uh, sneakers app on July. Uh, not July. Freaking goddamn March or February. February 14th. For the anniversary of Sneakers app, you know, Valentine's Day, it's... They might just be restocking these. I honestly hope they don't. Unless, you know, one of my subscribers out there really wants them. I hope they do for you. Other than that, though, the resale prices, I hope they just keep going up. I'm not trying to get rid of those unless they go for the high, high. Next up, though, move on to number two right up here. You can see we got that tag number two. Now, you can see this is a Jordan 4 box, size 13. Don't worry, bro. These are not Jordan 4s. I just... Wait, what are these? I, I could not find the box for these. And you're going to be like, yo, Tommy, you're bugging for giving these number three. I mean, number two on my list. I'm just going to say I did flat out because these are the, probably the, one of my favorite shoes of 2018. As you can see, they are beat to shits because I've been rocking them so goddamn much. They actually made the box disgustingly dirty because I literally just got done wearing them at school. So these are the Jordan 3 Cement Blacks. Look at this, bro. They are destroyed to shit, I know. And coincidentally today, I like come to the crib. Put these in the box. I realize there's pen all over these, all over the tongue. The reason why I gave these, these are so comfortable. Classic ass shoe. You can rock literally anywhere, anytime, any time of day. Snow, rain, hot ass weather. Not really hot ass weather. It's kind of comfortable with the high top, with the nice ass warm shit. But definitely, you can literally wear these anywhere. I've been rocking them all winter long. A classic ass shoe. These retail for I think uh, two hundred dollars. I actually won these via sneaker stuff raffle again uh, online. That's what I'm telling you. I won all. I won a shit ton of sneakers and stuff raffles. But now after the freaking midway of the year, after they started scripting bots and shit for these raffles, I've not been able to take a W at all. Well, this is definitely one of the cleanest shoes out there. These are a size eleven and a half, and these are crazy ass personal slash beaters slash whatever you want to call them. Definitely my favorite. One of my favorite shoes out there of 2018. Now, ladies and gentlemen. The last shoe on my list. This is number one of 2018, and you might be able to tell what it is if you do know what they are. I'm going to show you. Oh, Off-White Way. Oh, Off-White Way. Off-White Way. And yes, I did end up copying these for retail. Not to be a dick. I'm just, I'm just so ecstatic on these. These are my favorite per I actually didn't even purchase them myself. Well, I'm going to tell you the full story. What happened is, if you don't know, I was going to, uh, these, when these released, I was in high school, and what ended up happening is that I got the W from Kith. 
my first ever and first and only Kith W I ever took in my life. Little cool ass thing. And of course, they do come with orange laces. I think some other laces I cannot find at the moment. But I, was, I got the W raffle. I found out in school. And I was like, yo, you got to pick them up next day. And I was like, I can't be skipping school right now. It's the end of the year. And I'm, I'm, like, I'm on my limit. You know, school's not letting me skip anymore. So I was like, I can't go. So I'm luckily my homie at your hype connect once again. Shout out to him, bro. He came in clutch for these. And I was just ecstatic. He went to Kith for me. Of course, I gave him the bread and a little bit extra on top. Well, these are the off white Jordan 1 UNC's in my size to 11 and a half. These are going for the high high now. I actually did end up ruining these in storage. What happened is, on this one right here, where is it? Oh, it's not even a bad mark anymore. But what happened is, I had a cactus in this room. And accidentally, the cactus died when I was on vacation and it fell over. And it just ended up leaking. And uh, there is a little uh, uh, spot right up there, if you guys can see on the sole. It's nothing major, nothing major, but you know, some little light shit. And then you got the off-white tag on here. These are 165, I think. Oh, 190. These are 190, actually. We got that tag on there. Oh, my goodness. There it goes. A $2,000, no, $1,000, almost a $1,000 check. These are going up in price, though, and hopefully they don't ever restock. We got the off-white Nike on the inside right up there. Unfortunately, as of right now, the news is that they're not making any more Jordan 1s. So, uh... Thank you, Nike. Thank you, Kith. Thank you to all these. Probably never going to see these videos anyways, but thank you, Nike. As you can see, they were, actually, these are all Nikes. I just realized that they're all Nike sneakers on my top 10 list that I cop. As you can see, I don't have many Yeezys. I do still have, like, I think I have a Yeezy, Yeezy Force coming in statics. And I do have Yeezy Calabasas, which are absolute brickos. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you're sick through this whole entire video, I appreciate it. Good luck on this year for the sneakers drops. I know they're coming crazy. My most anticipated sneaker is the Travis Scott Air, Air Jordan 1s. Hope you guys have good luck on all these. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, subscribe. Let me know your top 10 list down below. Peace.